Um, I, you know, I think that uh, our team showed a lot of guts today and a lot of poise to be able to to get this win against an ACC team without our leading scorer. Um, and I think for two games in a row, the thing that I'm most pleased with is that our defense has gotten better as the game has gone on. Um, and that's kind of always been our uh, trademark and what we've done well to really frustrate teams. And I feel like we're finally getting back to that uh, mentality and that focus. Um, I mean, you know, I definitely miss my partner in crime. Um, <laughs> but, you know, we just talked about each person doing one little thing extra and, you know, just pushing that much harder. Nobody, you know, needs to be the hero or, you know, try and score all the points that she does on her own. But if every person just pushed a little bit harder to do something more to help us, then, you know, that would, you know, make up for it. And, and we would be able to get this win together. Rebounding, too. Same. Right. Yeah, same thing. You know, and, but I mean, that's always a, you know, something we stress is that everyone needs to get on the boards and everyone needs to box out. So, you know, it's just even more of an emphasis today with such a big rebounder being out. Like midway through the second half where they got kind of sloppy of uh, turnovers and then you guys kind of clamped down again on defense, you scored a bunch of points. Um, what, what was going on at that point? Um, we were just really careless with the ball. Um, we weren't taking care of it. Um, and one of our goals today was to get a good shot after every turnover and that's something that we didn't do. Um, we compounded mistakes so um, I think when Coach Ruiz took that time out, it was a good thing because we just, you know, relaxed a little and set up our offense and really um, started to get some good shots. Lot. It seems like they wait, they're very patient on offense and wait for it to come around when the defense is playing well, but at that point, it, it, that wasn't happening. Yeah. But then it, it happened again, like the last 10 minutes. Yeah, well, they, they went to, the, like, they went to the, their little 2 3 trapping, half court yeah, traps, right. and that yeah. really disrupted us. Yeah. And then we went to a two guard front and I had Alyssa and Daphne out there together and basically we just <laughs> took our post players out of the equation <laughs> so they wouldn't touch the ball <laughs> and we told Daphne and Alyssa to get in the gaps and kick and try to make a play. Mm -hmm. So instead of putting Milana and Taylor in jail at the high post, because that's always where we have Ruthie mm -hmm. and then Nakia was tired, I had to get her out. Mm -hmm. So that's always where we have those two guys in that high post area and I just didn't want to put Milana and Taylor in the position to have to make decisions so I put that on Alyssa and Daphne's shoulders. Mm. Melissa made the great drive, kicked it out. Daphne banked the three in. <laughs> That's lucky, but again, like we talk all the time about hard work producing luck sometimes, but then the next shot, you got to get her on that one, because once she banks the three in, yes, she's ready to yeah. shoot again. So exactly. I think just a recognition to get her the ball again, and uh, I think Alyssa's, you know, playing really well and doing all the things that I need her to do this year, and, you know, I think that she, uh, you know, really understands what her role is. And it's nice to have two guys out there that can handle the ball and trade off and score. I mean, she's even getting more involved in shooting and making plays for herself and her teammates. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys.